Network. My brother-in-law Kevin and my brother-in-law Derek. We've been hiking together for about 10 years. Here they are, Kevin and Derek, out here for the first time. Gonna experience some Eastern Oregon backpacking. We'll have to talk to them when the trip's over, see what they thought of it. The total trip is gonna be somewhere around 50 miles. We're gonna to try to hit two summits, Eagle Cap Mountain and the Matterhorn, and we'll check out a handful of really nice alpine lakes. Kevin's got his fly fishing gear. Derek has a lot of experience in mountain climbing. I've done bits and pieces of this area with my boss, Dennis. He's been coming here since the 70s. Horses. We took off from the Wallawa Lake Trailhead. We're on the West Fork of the Wallawa. We'll take this trail in all the way to Glacier Lake. It's 12 or 13 miles. We'll have the night to spend at Glacier Lake, which is one of my favorite places. And the views, the views are gonna be amazing. Just hit Six Mile Meadow. We're about halfway to Glacier Lake. My first trip out here was to Six Mile Meadow. That's as far as I could get. Yeah, that was about 10 years ago and uh, that kind of got me into hiking. Taking a break at Fraser Lake. We're uh, maybe two, three miles away from Glacier and we're about to hit it hard. So it's probably, I'm guessing like two o'clock and it's hot out here. And that sun is kicking our butts pretty good. Calling an airlift. Yeah. You're almost there, buddy. Lake. Initial thoughts on Glacier Lake? More than I expected it to be. Glacial. Even better. Looks nice. I kind of want to do the nasty plunge. Yeah.
we're gonna go around the lake. We're gonna day hike and then go over to Prospect Lake, which is over that little ridge right there. our campsite. Sun is setting. This guy's gonna cowboy camp tonight. I think this guy is too. But I know they're not 100% confident because he's starting to put up the tent. It's the morning of day two at Glacier Lake. Kevin's out there doing some sleeping bag yoga. I think he's a little sore after that hike. No, I'm not. Oh, he's good. He's ready to go. And there's Derek. He's got his view at Eagle Cap there. And Kevin's got Glacier. And I've got Cuban fiber. We're gonna day hike around Glacier Lake. Stretch our legs a little bit. We'll be summoning Eagle Cap tomorrow. And then coming down to the saddle, right at that low part, and setting up camp. spillway at Glacier Lake. So this is basically the beginning of the West Fork of the Wallowa River. Let's cross. So that's the saddle we're gonna go up over to get to Prospect Lake. And there's a trail in there somewhere. Woo! Yeah. Coming up. Here comes Kevin.
Nice and calm up here on the pass. Warm, very warm. All right, we're heading back down, back to Glacier. Gonna go around it now. Over this way. I think this is No Name Lake, and it feeds down into Glacier. Oh, that wind feels so good. Got views at Glacier Peak there, and then cross the spine, cross the saddle, over to Eagle Cap. We'll be way up there camping tomorrow, hopefully. Right now we're on the backside of Glacier. steps we're back at glacier lake soaking our feet it's dinner time and we're gonna do the mexican fiesta meal we've got taco rice dehydrated refried beans cheese Fritos, Taco Bell hot sauce. Ready, go. Look at this guy. He's fighting it. He's fighting him good. That's a keeper. Nice. Hold him up. <laughs> Did you get that? Perfect. Day two. Had a really great day. Hiking around Glacier Lake. Probably on one of the hottest days that this area has seen this year. We're uh, all setting up tonight to uh, cowboy camp. First time cowboy camping. These guys talked me into it. I think it's only supposed to get down in the 50s tonight. Yeah, I can get used to this.
day three. I saw one of the biggest meteors of my life last night. It was just, started out like a normal one and then just turned into a huge fireball. It was crazy. It was amazing. Woke up and it kind of smelled like smoke today. And as we were driving here, there was tons of smoke and we were really worried about it. It's kind of smoky over there. Hopefully that'll stay away from us. But today we are heading up to Eagle Cap. So we're gonna hike up there and then camp on the saddle. All right, ready for Glacier Pass and Eagle Cap? Right guys? Yes. Right there. Ryan. We'll get that on the last day. You guys are heading down to the lakes basin. You can see Mirror Lake down there. That's where we're gonna have lunch and then bear bag a bunch of stuff and then we'll be heading up Eagle Cap. Some light. Temperature is supposed to drop at some point over the next couple days, about 20 degrees, but it's been record highs here, so don't expect it to get too cold. Alright, we're uh, here at Mirror Lake, getting ready to bear bag some stuff, getting rid of all the extra weight, going up to about 9,500 feet, up to Eagle Cap. Yeah. We need some of them. And, uh, those guys are smart. I'm right up there. zigzag our way up here a lot of switch back Kevin's thinking about a shortcut there's Horton Pass right there Lostine Valley <sighs> Matterhorn in the lakes basin
and easy. All right, here it is. The view from the saddle in between Glacier Peak and Eagle Cap. Looking down at Glacier Lake there and where we day hiked. up some chicken and noodles. Look at this nifty rock formation that holds our cook bags. Nice. Nice. Action. Nice. <sighs> Time for dinner. Day four. We're up here on the saddle. Yeah. I'm gonna get some coffee now. Oh, and we set up the tent just in case something crazy happened. Derek's making coffee. Our group barista is at work here. It is a far greater thing that we've done than we've ever done before. Coffee time. Coffee time on the saddle. This is what counts right there. Had some great views of the stars last night. Ain't that right, Kevin? The funk has arrived. Oh. And set in. down off the of Eagle Cap and uh, hike through the lakes basin today. Gonna hit up Six Mile Meadow I think, set up camp there and get ready for a pretty tough hike up to Ice Lake and then the Matterhorn eventually. That should be pretty fun, good end of the trip. So looks like a nice day, 
temperatures dropped a lot. The last three days have been really hot, hottest days of the year from what we hear. There's been a lot of smoke, a lot of haze in the air from fires. It hasn't really affected us. It's just been an awesome trip so far. Matterhorn, nice little preview. Taking a little break at Mirror Lake, washing our feet up, having some lunch. The essentials. Heading down to Moccasin Lake in the Lakes Basin. There's Eagle Cat from the Lakes Basin. Horseshoe Lake Siesta. Gonna move on to Six Mile Meadow shortly. Found this campsite at Six Mile Meadow. It's real nice. Change the scenery. I think they see us. We got some otters.
Day five, we've made a huge mess. Camped down here by the river. A little cold and wet this morning. Drying stuff out and getting ready to go up to Ice Lake. We are leaving Six Mile Meadow and heading to the Ice Lake Junction where we will hike up to Ice Lake and maybe the Matterhorn tonight. We're at a lower elevation at Six Mile Meadow. I think it's like 6,000 feet. Basically, this trip has been up, 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 and then we came all the way down yesterday, and now we're going back up for one more Alpine experience. Coming up on the Matterhorn, catching our first glimpse of Ice Lake. Do it. Matterhorn the Matterhorn. Oh yeah, it's a real ball buster.
<laughs> it's pretty matter, horny. There's Eagle Cap over there. That's where we were a few days ago. Very, very long way down. Very, very long way down. Getting up here was not easy. Sun is setting, so we should probably get back down pretty soon. <laughs> it took us an hour and a half to get up here, and it was tough and exposed, but we're trained professionals. Derek approves. Yep. You know how the you know it's a good summit. It's when you got a nervous feeling that you got to get down from here. <laughs> Day six, and we are just waking up. You can 
see our camp down there. Had a good night's sleep. The skies are clear. The smoke is gone. We're gonna enjoy our last day here at Ice Lake. Good trip. So I was actually here maybe like eight years ago. Dennis, my boss, his son and I came up here in July. didn't look like this. Had to cut the trip short. Finally get to see these mountains and actually Summit the Matterhorn. This has kind of been my return to Ice Lake redemption. Yeah, that's the ticket. Well, what'd you think as we hike out of here? Over delivered for sure. I uh, I was in awe of the, of the scope of the mountains here, so it's really cool. Nice. Yep, good spot. Don't tell anybody, okay? Don't count on that. Well, Kevin? Yeah? Let's hear your like top five. The Meteor over Glacier Lake, which I'm sure Ben's talked about. Summiting Eagle Cap, camping on the saddle of Eagle Cap, summiting Matterhorn, the high dive at Prospect Lake. Does that count? That's it. When you get really close to the end of the trail, you can start hearing this hydro plant. It's kind of a shocking thing to hear as you enter back into reality. Just another walk in the park. Just a stroll, just a little five-day stroll. stroll. Just a five-day stroll. Six-day. Six-day stroll. We lived, everybody. We lived. We're back. All right. Pizza? We've beer? Yeah. Pizza, yeah. beer? Pizza and beer. <laughs> Pizza and beer.